I am so much better than you because I'm sitting in my car ordering food from someone who has no job prospects. <laughs> yeah, you're flipping my burgers and cooking my nuggies. Wait, you think that I'm making this all up and lying and telling fibs? Well, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm not. This was very much a real incident that occurred as people are so unaware of the world that's around them and feels as though they're so much more superior than the people who are cooking them food. I'm sorry, but if I was this McDonald's employee, I'd spit in your burgers and your Cokes. Yeah, yeah. A McDonald's employee is just not paid enough to deal with the scum of the earth. She was being harassed and filmed for sympathy bait all because this employee had asked this entitled couple if they could wait in the waiting bay. But no, the entitled couple had to pull out their phones, getting ready to post on social media because they feel as though they've been wronged. Uh, very unsurprising from these people. You're telling me you're not giving me my food. I want my money back. Uh, suck it up, princess. I promise as well, you guys can wait for your slop. And I love fast food just as much as the next person does. But I'm also not having my head shoved so far my ass. Oh, you, if you're refunding my money, you have to give me cash. Oh my God. You guys pay with a debit, right? No, it, you guys pay it, with a debit, right? It doesn't right? matter. It doesn't matter, want, sir. If you're, if you're telling it me, doesn't matter, sir. If you're telling me you're not giving me my food, I want my money back. I didn't say that. I'm not giving you your food. I just request you guys hey, to fresh you food, right? right? I, I'll fresh I don't, I don't want to This is a celebrity McDonald's. This is Edmonton, Alberta, girl. Okay? I'm not I'm not parking. Edmonton. Where are you from? My Where, car. Are you, Where are you from? Where are you from? Get a career. Seriously? For your life. Seriously? <laughs> so let, let me get this right. We're gonna sit in our heated car with our brand new iPhones and have enough disposable income to purchase not one, but two meals from McDonald's. Because uh, have y'all seen the prices of McDonald's lately? I, I haven't had it in so long, so forgive me. But I'm not paying $12 for fried pink slime. Yes, that video is etched into my memory and it's traumatized me, okay? Can you blame me? But then they proceed to insult this woman's English, tells her to get a real career because apparently it's not enough to have a job at a workplace where people already don't want to work. And of course, entitled privilege train stains like this couple think that they're so above this McDonald's employee because what? Because why exactly? I am going to need everyone's spit for a moment. I'm getting the spit cup and you're all spitting in this. It's going to a special project, not not a 23 and me, but definitely a special one. So sad it's seriously. Seriously? Now, anyways, grab us that, food. Okay, okay, okay. I was so nice to you, you guys. Why are you, why are you using that word for me? Food. I why don't even know why you're talking to the passenger of my so vehicle fired? when I ordered the food at the window. And I'm telling you that I don't want to park in reserve stall number two. It's crazy how this dude thinks he's the boss of this random McDonald's employee, all because she is firing back and standing up for herself against this pathetic excuse of a human being in the passenger seat. I don't give a damn if that's your wife. Your wife is a bitch, okay? You're a c so you will be treated accordingly. And I don't know why we have our phones out right now. Is it because she was filming for her safety and for her protection and possibly because higher ups could hear about this incident? I just know that these two are obviously not the type to just threaten legal action, but to kick up a stink the very next day and she loses her job because I mean, society isn't going to believe the foreign McDonald's employee in America. It happens all the time. It's very frustrating. It's very disturbing, but I feel like the people in the car had no right to be filming her. I'm sorry, but she was filming for her protection and for her safety. I don't want to wait in park stall number two. Maybe you should have made your own food at home. 
would have been a lot easier, wouldn't it? Throwing your toys out the basket all because you were asked to wait a couple minutes for your food. And they are using a word for me like single time. You guys listen to her. You're telling me that you want me to park. You're telling me that you want me to park. You're telling me that you want me to park because you're on a timer to make your time good at McDonald's. Of course. Yeah, I don't care. Time. I don't care about your time at McDonald's or how long Girl, it takes to make good. my food or about your timing. I ordered food, I want my food. If you're not giving my food, give me my money back. Of course, I'm giving money back. You guys tap your card. I lost, you guys tap your card. I lost, I lost my debit card. I'm sorry, I can't find it. Oh my it. God, the lady just tapped on her phone. I know, so but I lost it. So they're both trying to get free food out of this situation because they were told to wait. This, this, this is why I hate humanity and why I'm anti-human, anti-life. Ew! Ew! We're not moving. We have your own camera. You're so oh, wow. disrespectful. I have a camera too. Whatever you guys said, no. F word for me. It's going to be a big okay, lawsuit sorry. tomorrow. Like, I'm telling you right now, I'm phoning my lawyer. Like, Mc you and McDonald's is getting sued big time. Oh, yeah. 100%. Did I say something wrong to you guys? Your whole family's not, gonna go back no. to go back No. Nothing to do with me. I don't even do know why you're know talking to my passenger, and but anyways. Do you know anyways. where my family is? Seriously? Well, shut up. You're having a meltdown. Work. You're, you're here to get paid to get work. Get off the phone and work. Why are you I do. Phone? I do work. What are you doing? You but don't look work at you guys. You guys don't listen to me at all. If you guys, you need a money back, I said you guys money, you tap your car to get your money back. Don't worry, I got 50,000 right followers on Instagram. I I'm gonna post this video. You you're like, I don't care about it. You're like, this is going viral. Many... Okay, but on a serious note, this is exactly why I believe that social media is a f plague because you obviously know this couple was filming this poor McDonald's employee who has probably had to put up with the same type of abuses that day, last week, last month, and this threatens her with his social media clout. So from what I found, the dude actually doesn't have 50,000 Instagram followers. He has 50. The woman in the passenger seat was fired from her job for treating someone this way. And I mean, you could argue, oh, why do people have to go into her personal life and chase her up for her? It's, it's a human error. No, it's not a human error. It's not a human error because I don't treat people like this when I'm told to wait. The world isn't going to end. I'm still going to get my food. I just have to wait a bit because it's McDonald's, one of the most popular fast food restaurant chains in the entire world. You can wait a couple minutes. It's not going to kill you, little little babies. It is just so bizarre to me that people will treat others with absolutely no humanity just because they paid for something from them. Like I thought it was quite common knowledge that McDonald's employees are not only overworked, but are underpaid. So I don't care how much of a bad day you had. I don't care if your grandson got into a car accident died. Suck it up. You can treat people with kindness. And if you're doing all of this for your little viral TikTok moment, the drama queen, maybe they were both genuinely going through so much at the time. Like, what if they lost a baby? First of all, my baby. Oh, I'm just kidding. All the horses, okay? So that means I can step up into a Kmart, demean and belittle and scream at all of the employees because they don't have my favorite elf liquid jet black eyeliner. No! I'm sorry. My problem are my problems alone. Your problems are your problems alone. I'm sorry, but it's not fair to just drop that onto people because you're having a hard time. Who's to say this McDonald's employee didn't go home, cried her eyes out until she fell asleep, doesn't have enough money to cover rent, bills, food, but it's okay because you were having a bad day, right? Now, sending a plate back four times and making a waitress cry is absolutely demonic work. I myself, I have really bad anxiety. So nine times out of 10, if someone gets my order wrong, I'm just not gonna say anything. You know, human errors, mistakes, I get it, it happens. You know, I don't like what I've gotten, unfortunate, but I'm just gonna go f off somewhere else and get something else. It is so reasonable to ask the waitress, yo, like, this food is not what I ordered. Could you please bring back what I ordered? That, that would be great. Sending a plate back four times tells me that you either have terrible communication or you're just looking for trouble in general. The day my mom let a Karen have it at IHOP in Mission TX, she sent back her plate four times, made waitress cry, and ruin our breakfast.
and don't be so loud. You're ruining everybody's breakfast. Okay? We've been here for an hour and a half. Don't have people home. No. Make the waitress cry because they don't care. What you think of? You keep going back to work like five years. Because they can't do their job. You got mental That's terrible. That is. I am so, so glad somebody finally put one of these elderly Karens in their f***ing place because I just know that they have no one in their lives to do that. For some reason, people are just so afraid of telling their loved ones, hey, you're acting very irrational and f***ing weird right now. Can you stop that? And yes, elderly people are usually set in their ways, but that's still no excuse. She's still a bitch and she's still an asshole for doing what she did. I don't care what anyone says. It's a huge, big, fat red flag whenever people are disgusting towards service and hospitality employees. As it tells me that you have no emotional regulation, which in a lot of cases, there's no reason for you to not have that. Or you have Karens like these who are purposefully going out of their way to search for problems, to blame somebody else for how they're feeling and what they're going through. I'm sorry, babe, but it's not the server's fault that your kids don't want to visit you anymore because you were shit to them their entire life and your ending is looking like ending up at a nursing home. Look, I know I read her to filth, but unfortunately, you treat people bad, people are going to treat you bad too. Lady, I don't know where you think you are, but you're at IHOP, not the bear. I promise you, you will live. Ms. McDonald's give me a canned Coke. What situation are you guys in? I'm sorry, you can't record. Okay. Stop recording me. I just want my food. Okay, well, I asked you to stop recording. You wouldn't stop recording, so now I'm giving you a refund because you have a great night. Well, I just want my food. Too bad. I asked you to stop recording me, and here you are still doing it for me. I'm, I'm confused. I just want my food. <laughs> hey, thanks for the free Coke. Thank you. See, this is why TikTok has ruined humanity and why our society is doomed for the future. She politely asked to not be recorded and what do you do? Whip out three more phones to record her, then got surprised when you were given a refund because she didn't want to deal with your shit. Granted, most people go to McDonald's to get a Coke because it's McDonald's Coke. There is like crack or something in there. It tastes so damn good. Crack would and taste good. What the f are you saying, Caitlin? But regardless, McDonald's is known for constantly having a broken ice cream machine, yet instead of being told, we have no Coke, uh, get f you got a can of Coke. Be, be grateful for that. Yeah, you don't know the situation of that particular McDonald's. Maybe 10 rats died inside of the soda machine. You will live. I promise. It's just a can of Coke. It won't hurt you. But I truly believe with every ounce of my soul and my being and my booty hole that everybody on this planet should at least have to work in the service industry at the minimum once in their lifetime. And it's crazy that I even have to say that, right? Because it's basically saying, oh, well, you wouldn't have empathy for other people unless you experience their situation, which is crazy because you don't need to experience other people's situations to have empathy for them and to respect them as human beings. But no, McDonald's employees, for some reason, they're seen as grubby gum on the bottom of your shoe when it's like, dude, you're literally eating McDonald's. Remember that. Oh, sorry. Whoa! Kill it, pull off. Kill it, pull off. Oh. oh my god. She just threw <laughs> that in her car. Oh no! <laughs> that needs to go fuck. Oh my god. TikTok was such a f mistake. It's like something changed in the universe when TikTok became a thing. The way the app works with its virality and how quick it can make you famous, it encourages people to behave like absolute f rats.
rights. Why is it so funny to some of these people to cause service workers grief? I just don't, I don't get it. Is there something I'm not seeing? Am I just too weak? Am I a pussy? Am I like, is your life truly that sad and pathetic and terrible that you've got to make someone else feel that way? Could you imagine the cringe ass conversation that took place in that car? Like, oh my God, girls, yes, queens, should, should we just go pull up at this random McDonald's and make these employees days really hard? Should we embarrass them and humiliate them on TikTok? Oh my God, guys, we're gonna get so many likes and followers and views. Tee Rebecca, so funny! The workers need to stay professional. You can tell she was all hostile while handling the ice cream. Doesn't matter what the customers do, stay professional and be nice. She didn't do what she had to do. Brother, where do you work? Hit, hit my DMs because I'll come to your workplace and belittle you. Better yet, I'll, I'll pull down my pants and piss all over your face. Let's just hope that you're not a piss schooner. But this idea that service employees have to keep their cool and stay calm and be professional whilst they're being used for humiliation content is so laughable to me because no, the they don't, they work at McDonald's. Let's be real here. McDonald's isn't even a two-star restaurant. You don't know how many times this poor lady has had to deal with TikTok brain rotted wits in 24 hours and she's just had enough. It may be an unpopular opinion to voice this out loud, but I actually support what the McDonald's worker did there. She didn't even throw the ice cream in the girl's face. I mean, I would have. My anxious ass would have. I just would have. It would have been just reaction to. Some individuals that walk this earth amongst us are so misguided that they believe that they can do whatever they want to somebody and reap no consequences off of that. I mean, she had every right to throw that shit in your face if she damn well wanted to. Like, I don't know if the people in the car understand this, but they're losers. They're pathetic and caring this much about TikTok virality. Why? What does it exactly do for you? Speed away, speed away. But you're so scary and you're so grown when you think people aren't going to fight back. You know those really insufferable people you see on TikTok who makes it everyone else's problem that they can't eat a specific thing. So, okay, you are allergic to this particular ingredient that is used quite heavily in a certain restaurant. So do you A, go to the certain restaurant that you're allergic to and harass the employees about what exactly is in this food that I'm eating, that I know what ingredients are in this food and I'm mad because I'm sensitive to this food and you guys guys don't realize this food is making everyone fat and blood. Blood, it's a, it's a fast food restaurant. Or like a normal person, would you just not go to that restaurant because they already have too many things on the menu that you're allergic to? Well, this guy completely misunderstood the assignment. I'm gonna find out what's in the animal sauce at In-N-Out. What's in the spread? The spread is Thousand Island sauce. What does that mean? Um, There's no ingredients on here. It's just this sauce, but I don't know what's in there. It's supposed to be a secret sauce. I mean, there's an argument to be made that maybe it's a little bit problematic to not list the ingredients on that little packet of sauce. But regardless, going up to random employees who are just employed to take your order, to cook the food and to give it to you and quiz them about, mm, what's in this Thousand Island dressing? You know what's in the Thousand Island dressing because you clearly have done research before coming to the restaurant. You just wanted to humiliate all of these employees and say, see, see, you guys, they don't even know what's in the food that they serve you. My guy, they are normal everyday people who need to make money in order to survive. I'm sorry that the girl at the front has no clue what's in the sauce because she's not paid to tell you what's in the sauce. She's paid to take your order so that you can off with your food. Oh wait, no, you're not getting food. You just are trying to make that really strange conspiracy red pilled videos where it's like, oh, they are trying to kill us all. They are putting sugar and seed oils and sunflower oil and corn syrup. Yeah, we know this. We know this. And people are going to continue eating it because why? Not because of anything, but convenience. It just, it comes down to that at the end of the day. This is like a secret sauce. Oh yeah, it is secret. Does it have like seed oils? I'm a, like sensitive to seed oils. Do you like this? Is it good? Oh, I've never had 
You've never had animal sauce and you work here? Yeah, the only thing that I have soy here is uh, cheese. That's it. I can maybe uh, give you a number. Customer service, they can probably better help you than I can. Okay. I got a few food sensitivities. We're trying to figure it out, James. We're trying to call customer service. James knows what's in it. James there. knows what's in it, but he won't tell us. We do have soybean oil in it. So there's soybean oil in it. Is there like processed sugar? Oils and processed sugar, which hijack your satiety and make you want to eat more of it, are in there. Animal style sauce at In N Out is a big miss for me. How embarrassing is your life, mate? You've gone to a fast food restaurant. Yeah, they're gonna have bad shit in the fast food. Crazy, fuck, I know, foreign concept. I just. I really don't give a damn that you're sensitive to seed oils because you're making everyone uncomfortable here. You are purposefully disrupting these people's jobs for what? To clown them on social media, make them the face of a really huge corporation which they have no control over what goes into the food. But you just had to go into this random in and out bazaar and make every single person aware in the restaurant that you're allergic and you're sensitive to seed oils. Bro, no one cares. And to a certain extent, I know that this comes from the influx of food elitism also that we're seeing the rise of. I'm just so sick of seeing this genre of content and if I'm even sick of it as the viewer and the consumer, could you imagine how sick of it the employees are? It's like me going into a seafood restaurant and making it known to everybody in the seafood restaurant that I hate seafood food. Guys, guys, what is in that crab? Oh my god, I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Why do you serve crab here? Why? I don't like it. Did you know that I'm sensitive to fish? No, no one cares. I'm sorry if I've been too emotional in this video, guys, but using minimum wage workers for your shitty TikTok content has got to be the ultimate cringe. And I use that word very scarcely, but I gotta call it how I see it. It's so weird that this is even a genre of content to begin with. My very first job was working in a fish and chip shop. And, you know, whilst it was fun for me because I got free food from time to time, it also has its own challenges. Seeing people being treated like garbage all because of a human error makes me sick to my stomach. When someone else is making your food, they're probably going to get it wrong. The best thing to do is just go back up to the person and be like, hey, my order is wrong. Do you mind making my order again? And they are more than willing to do so because it is standard. You can't just give someone what they didn't order. But with all of that being said, everybody, I probably have some service workers watching this fast food employees. Have you ever had anything similar of the sort that has happened in today's video? Because if so, please tell me your story down in the comments section below or email me at dramaqueensubmissions at gmail.com because genuinely this like epidemic of using service workers and fast food employees for this shitty ass content has got to stop. Thank you for your stay at Yappersville today, everybody. I hope to see you all again soon. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.